It is good to see you again. game and he's been pushing up on it Well, hello, 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 everyone. Uh, that is that is definitely the wrong scene that the thing is capturing. Let's <laughs> uh, just go straight here. Hey, welcome back. And uh, copyright, that's all first. Tranquility of mind, hello, hello. Free soul, good to see you. And get this. Welcome to the channel. Now, um, let me just turn the music on. <laughs> It's been a while. It's been a while. I think about half a year ago, I stopped doing live streams because back in Ireland, my internet wasn't really working and we had these um, connection issues during the streams and everything was terrible and it just wasn't fun anymore for me with these issues. So I kind of stopped. I thought, yeah, you know, I'm moving back to Germany anyway. Um, so I'll, I'll resume once I'm back. And then the whole move got delayed and... and uh, yeah, it took a little bit longer to get here. Let me lucky now, hello, hello, Dave. Hey. Welcome on in. So, um, I finally moved uh, end of December back to Germany um, and moved into my new apartment here in February. And then I, um, while moving into the apartment, I found out, oh, they are going to build um, fiber connection for that apartment and they told me yeah that's going to be ready by the end of february and i'm like cool all of that get the shit online um and it's been delayed and delayed and delayed and i was basically here with our proper internet connection and was using kind of my phone as a hotspot and had to purchase uh free um you know, that I didn't have the volume uh, restrictions and I was way too expensive and it's the fiber is still delayed. It's still not here, but the internet provider gave me basically a mobile hotspot thingy and uh, initially with 60 gigabytes of volume. And that was gone after a week and I phoned them and I said, no, this, 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 this is not going to work out. And so they gave me now unlimited volume. So technically, I, you know, 
it's it's not the fastest connection, but I did run an hour of stream test yesterday and it didn't have any major drops. And we'll hope it works. Um, so it's, it's kind of emergency internet connection, but uh, I hope it's going to be... Raging Fury, hey! Oh, welcome back. Um, yeah, well, they, you know, they, the initial was the, I would have buy fiber by end of February, so they kind of, I'm their customer, and I'm like, look, I moved into this apartment, I expected to have the fiber in February, now I have no internet, that's not, that's not okay. And they said, yeah, okay, we'll give you this thing. Um, so... I did run a one hour stream test yesterday, um, which basically I, I just, you know, let it let it run in the background while I was in the shower and, and doing um, chores in the, in, the, in the house. And at the end of the, the one hour, I had two slight bitrate drops, but it never dropped below 4,000. Like the standard streaming bitrate here is 6,000. And uh, like I don't think you notice it. Maybe there's going to be a delay, uh, but it was like, 20 seconds over an hour. I think that's gonna be fine. But it's it's all, you know, wireless connection, uh, like Wi-Fi to the router, and the router is using LTE, so who the frick knows? All right, but yeah, let me know if there's any issues, and if not, then we'll do this more regularly again, right? I used to stream three days a week. My plan was with the fiber connection, I would do that Five times a week? I don't know. <laughs> right on. Ditrix, yo! Thank you very much for 25 months. Um, welcome back. Buttspot is also here. Um, the... What, what else? Yeah, we're gonna do um, a lot of uh, stuff happen. So, if you were watching half a year ago, we had an ongoing campaign with the, um, what was it, the topic, the Flash is weak, everybody who gets injured gets turned into a mech, and um, I'm not sure what else we had to add going there in that campaign, but first of all, it was still on the old longer version, and I don't want to go through the trouble of, of upgrading, second of all, um, I like no. I don't remember anything about this campaign, like where it is, what we have to do, what our objectives are. Third of all, uh, Illogical did a bunch of work on ModJam, and we have the whole new Reshi uh, um, Requiem integration, and that looks kind of fun. So I think we're going we're going uh, with a fresh campaign here. Um, it's storm. Hello there. Yes, hopefully no storms to affect the internet stability. Um, the tester. Yeah, so, uh, and also, so we are, I'm using the current beta for long war, you know, yes, you know, the tester they are working on. Um, so we also get to see the new technical changes, and um, you might see from the stream title the good old word Highliner. Um, we're not just going into a, a, a vanilla uh, ModGem plus Reshi campaign, but I'm also going to apply my Highlander rules here. That means one soldier per class. Um, uh, one, yeah, one soldier per class, one class per soldier. Well, yeah, one soldier per class. So I've thrown in all of Petrox's classes. I've thrown in the two classes that Xanthalos made, and we'll see how that goes. We've got the, the Crasher, we've got the Den Mother. Um, shall we, shall we, shall we crash some gates? Oh, I would need to remove the conflicts for Chronicles Technical from the rework. Right, because ModGem overrides the, the beta settings. Mm. Yeah, I don't want to fiddle around with that right now. Maybe we'll do that between streams and then just respect the class. That should work. Monkey arms. Hello there. It's been a, it's been a while. It's been a while. Yes. Yeah. Welcome on in. We're going to start a fresh campaign. Um, all right. I did basically a test game just to see if everything's working. Everything seems to be working fine. Um, as usual, I don't like buildable units, the mechanical units, so we're not going to run with buildable units. That also means you, I don't have the shifts, the shift research at the start. Um, we'll, we'll manage. 
tutorial is disabled, everything else is on. We're gonna randomly get our hero class. Um, I, I was actually wondering, I wanna do another campaign, but probably not this one, where we actually play the, the Nest and Lost Tower missions and not have integrated, but for this one, we're gonna go standard. The feed now. Hmm. I don't have a mods command right now. I don't have a current mod list. I just um, today set up everything that it's running on my end. So, what you can do though is. I also have my lighting set up properly, so I'm, I'm a little bit in the dark here, but I hope it's not too bad. Um, do I not have a command for... for Jim? Hmm. I'm actually surprised that the mods command doesn't show you some outdated mod list that's not... <laughs> That's not Hello, correct anymore. Busy! Hello there! Shadows. Original casual, we're coming in. Now, uh, there's definitely no commands command. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll get it all. Yeah, so, so we could just, um, like, we're playing Long of the Chosen with the Mod Japan Plus connection, right? So, um, there we can just could just link the collection illogicals mod gem collection, and that's pretty much yeah what what free soul just linked. That's that's the all gameplay relevant stuff is in there, and of course long War of the chosen. Um, I do have not nightboard but the streamlabs. Bot, but uh, well, uh, it still needs to be configured, and I don't think I've, I've looked into that. I'm not even sure if that's active right now because we always thought that we had a mods command currently active. Let me, uh, professional streamer hasn't streamed for half a year. Let me let me see. Um, uh, stream elements. What do we have here? Just allow me to log in. Yeah, cool. Cool. Dashboard. Chatbot. Command. Ah, exclamation mod gem should work. Yeah, that's so weird. Exclamation mods should also work. Is the bot not active? Let me just see. Right, let, me, let me see if the, for some reason, the, the bot doesn't seem to be... Yeah. Bot is currently active in your channel. Bot is up and running. I don't believe you. Right, let me try that again. Ah. All right, all right, all right. So now we should have mods. There we go. Okay. Sorry for that. Anyway, hey, welcome back to you too. Um, 
Okay, who do we have? What do we have? Um, I saw a bunch, bunch of Hey That's Me's. We'll get you all in there. Um, so I have, of course, character pool is disabled, all random characters, and by Hey That's Me, you get you get to choose uh, who you want to be then. So we got here um, 74 aim, low mobility guy. Our Reaper 70 aim, 60 mobility, that's not terrible for a Reaper. It is good to see you again. 57, 16. Another 30 mobility, oof. It is good to low see mobility you again. and low aim, Jane Kelly with standard ish stats. And this guy also has standard stuff. Anju. Uh, All right, Gate Crasher, everybody's favorite mission. Where are we on the map? Which direction do we want to go? Where's my Reaper? So many questions. Not seriously, where's you're my Reaper? Okay. Center and go. Attacking there. Get you in there. Spot something. These guys make up the bulk of the advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. By the way, in my test game, Jim Kelly as the as the crasher started with a flame torch. I didn't even know they could could get the, the flame torch on the on gate crasher. It's probably because of the randomized gate crasher loadouts. Also, do we have AP grenades? We have an AP grenade here. You also have uh, an AP grenade. Cool. Boosting. And a third one. So one of the changes the logical uh, made recently, way. right? Uh, if you're not following more gem development or not following his streams and have seen the changes there, um, Move it. AP grenades now have to be, be built. They're no longer free. And you can, you need to research what alien alloys thing, uh, alien materials tech, and then oh pay God. five credits for each grenade. So depending on how lucky you are on gate crasher, you basically start with more of your grenades. The advent officers seem more capable than the grunts. We're not sure whether to chalk it up to training or stricter mind control. Yeah, we do, we're doing the Highlander thing again with one soldier for each class. So, we could open up with an AP on these guys, but then we have those guys there to deal with. Or we just try to get a reveal on... with Overwatchers here. Which might be fun. All right, let's 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 try to um, get ready. Force the reveal, as we say. All right. Which Stay doesn't actually now. force at all, because ninety-nine percent of the time they're just gonna walk in a different direction. You're like, hmm. Yeah. Right then. Uh, you know, Need more okay, talk to. What's over here? Understood. Moving out. View out there. Cool. Who's left? We need to move in a bit. Cover. Maybe. I will survey this area. Just kill everything, then we don't need cover. Keeping a mindful eye on I'm that area. Sure. Right on the line. Right on the line. On Overwatch. I'll hold that spot. It has the energy for it. Yeah, so one thing I still have to do for the for the whole idea with the Highlander setup is um, I currently have choose my class just set to the default free class that you can choose from. So we might get into issues later on uh, when we just get duplicates and then have to just extend it. 
Also that that worked like a charm, you know. You see how we forced the reveal here? Didn't force nothing. Yep. A little bit more more flanking. Go. Flanking going here, you know what? You're just gonna you're just gonna stay. Let's right over there. Kinda pointless because if they see you, they see that guy. Whatever. With this, I'll right. change the Something might go down over there. Keep an eye on it. Area. Maybe the drone spots us? No. Let's do this. What he said. Kill that gunner. Crystals reveal their hidden structures when broken. Just like you. Gee, very edgy. Okay, nobody's on Overwatch. That's the good news. The bad news is... Didn't really kill all that much. Um, here's the first question. Can you see the officer from here? No, you cannot. I don't think we have many opportunities to get... A trooper is going to be a pain. Wondering how I'll get that officer. Might just be an AP grenade just to get rid of that guy. I want to get a kill with my Reaper. Would Shadow come here and then knife? Maybe that guy in the back there? So we AP these two here. Ooh, we also have uh, Lightning Slash. Uh, maybe we're not feeding the Reaper, but feeding the the Crusher. X-ray neutralized. Catch. Possible intel located. Did not expect to do five damage to that and only two to that guy, but whatever, works for me. Alright, can you avoid being detected and go there? That, cool. I can make use of that. A paste. Um, we're doing Highlander, so one soldier per class. We've done that two times before, I think. Um, and I always enjoyed it very much, so I thought. Yeah, let's just recycle that old idea. Be environmentally responsible. Okay. That was not scary. Have fun dying. It 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 feels. I have to say, I'm really, um, really happy that so many of you came back here. It's been a while, and it feels like an old family gathering or something like that. Um, Alright, get rid of this guy. Please. It's not technically getting rid of him. You have 57 aim, that's awful. And smoke you up, maybe. What else can you do? Get ready. 
will be help of a shot on the drone. But you know, a kill. You could never defeat a duelist with Need an extended mag. It is clear. This looks like the stuff. Can I get both? Yes. No. Maybe. Ah, whatever. He has oh, full cover. I only care about the other guy in half cover. Uh. So it's two basic troopers that we have to deal with here. Or, you know what? It's gonna be one trooper if we just kill that guy with another AP grenade. We only have the sector group left, right, after this. Grenade. With an E. Welcome in. Big shields. Good smoke grenade. Now, tip myself on the shoulder for that one. Saved our bacon there. Can't quite get the flank, but maybe. It's not just I mean, not just playing XCOM. I mean, do you smell smell that that yes. new campaign smell? Close to that area. It's a little bit like you know when you have just bought a new car and you have that new car oh, smell inside. I was not paying attention to what exactly we picked up, but we picked up all the loot. I'm on it. Crash you, hey. Excitement is continuing to build. Overwatch. It is good to see you again. Real trooper. Okay, come on, Dave. Sally, welcome in. Welcome back. Surprise. Suspend your disbelief. Alright, that size on me is in an annoying position, and uh, I think we're just gonna throw some grenades in that direction. Let's go. Annihilate all your monsters. Two damage points. Awesome. Fantastic. Magazine here. Frag grenade here. Of line of sight here it just doesn't tell me in the target preview because I technically don't see this guy yet, so I don't know that I'm gonna have line of sight. No respite for the dead. The aliens have found a way to mind control them now. No. I killed the champion. I need an no, extended no, magazine. Don't get up. I've handled it. All right. Get you closer. Not sure I can can run this way. I want you to walk this way. Let's go to this area. Let's not risk it here. There we go. The larger so on the one hand, I like the idea of that that larger pot size and move, move, XCOM move. size mod, family size XCOM or whatever it's called. I just don't like the thought of that. You know, if you have double, uh, twice the number of units to move and twice the number of enemies, that means every mission is gonna take well roughly twice as long. 
I think you're not gonna like anymore after a while. Great that that can get old okay. somewhat fast. Hmm. Okay. Okay, if we don't trigger them here, then let's... My turn. Let's chill with further moves ahead. Let the rest oh, of the squad catch up. Yeah, and also keep in mind, like, um, any any streamed or recorded campaign is always, it takes longer, right? Because I'm, I'm not playing as fast as I would be when I'm playing on my own. So. Although they bear some resemblance to the sectoids first encountered during the invasion, their genetic structure now includes human DNA. Also, I have to say, um... I think that, like, the typical long war mission of five soldiers, ten to twelve enemies, I think that's such a nice sweet spot that I'm not even sure I want that, uh, want such a bigger, bigger advent mod. Um, this is, this is kind of annoying, we don't really have much that we can do here. Engage these guys. We just need to need to dash in. We flashbang them. Need more kills. What's over here? Uh, you can do this and just dash. Get in position for next oh, turn. No, I'll be there soon. Get that AP grenade closer in. I'll be right there. But only yeah, I think we're just just me. gonna get closer. I'm not sure if I wanna. I think I'm just gonna flashbang the bio trooper and let the sector do whatever he wants to do. Overwatch. Yeah. Actually, I want to have Jane Kelly somewhere close by for some melee. Location confirmed. Or alternatively, for another flashbang if we need it. You go. Here I go. Dread a double move. You were nothing more than a name on a list waiting to be crossed off. That's not quite what I was hoping for. So, pierce the veil, right? Is what? Almost aim, damage. Well, something, something else. I'll take bonus aim. I have located some materials. St. Valentine had to be beaten, stoned, and decapitated before he died. You honor him well. Evidence located. 11 damage critical. Confirmation. Area secured. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Ah. Uh, right. Engage pressure. Done. XCOM refuses to let go of the ways of the old world. They will continue their wanton and reckless crimes until the entire world burns around them. Oh, 
long as there's even one Reaper left standing, you can bet they're still in the fight. Yeah, no promotion for the Reaper, no promotion for... Much obliged. Exclamation mark. Thank you very much for the bits. Appreciate it. Got a superior conditioning PCS. We got a delay on core out of this. And some stuff. Alright, cool. Incoming transmission. Just gonna go through all of this. Now I I wanna know if, if somebody has the answer. So we have this mod the um what is it? The the mod gem information extension kind of thing, which overhauls the tooltip to actually give you information about what you're doing. Fantastic mod, love it. Except for some reason it changes the tech names, color codes, tech names. It's like, okay, what what are these colors telling me? Like, why is this here? I don't... I was looking through the configs. Is there a way to disable that? Because this seems unnecessary. I don't know. Maybe there's some something behind it, but I don't... Like, to me, this these colors mean nothing. Like, to me, this is just... I do find that uh, it's, area it's such a small part. You, you go to the research yeah, 20 times in the campaign at Commander most. It's armory. not a big deal, but it's like... What? like There's so many good changes in the mod, and then it's like, add colors. What? Um, okay. Promotions. Um, and and uh, we got to do some... How do I do this again? Uh, I need to go to my dashboard. I need to see. Your rewards. Where do I get my list again here? With who redeemed what? Activity feeds, manage requests. There we go. I know how to do this. Okay, I'll have the list open. Still some outstanding from six months ago. Let's refund those. Okay. Uh, we, we do the classes first and then we do the assignment um, for, for people's characters here. Alright, we got a average aim, decent mobility, low dodge person. Infantry Dragoon Specialist. Five hacking. Doesn't really scream scream Dragoon's but I'll keep this one open, I think. Um because yeah. I wanna probably have a hacking class, but um might just go for the infantry here. Yeah. Then 74 aim, low mobility. Requiem is enabled, yes. Got the hijacker technical assaults. That is, what? Come on now. Like, this doesn't need aim, this, and this needs mobility. That's, that's. Not even sure what to say here. It is good to see you again. Lead by example, hijack. <laughs> Kalix, hey, welcome back. The new shooty technique, but we're still at the moment. It's still the old tree, right? Because I haven't adjusted it. Yeah, this is this is some some crummy options here. Um, is there a shooty hijacker build? So, we have a stun assault in the YouTube campaign, and he's not even tech sergeant yet, because it's just it's just so disappointing up to that point. It's always like, yeah, no, he's not gonna carry his weight. It's, it's, ah, hated it so far. Um... For the salt was done with that.
I mean, but we can't, can't just rely on XCOM roll perks, right? Um... The thing is, we have one soldier per class. If I make a high aim hijacker and try to make a shooty hijacker, we don't have a stealthy hacking hijacker. Now, I think we're going technical and see what we can do with this. And probably uh, for next stream, I'll set it up that we get the new long war technical instead of the mod gem technical, and then we can play around with the tree and do a respec here. Yeah. Um, Jingo. Full kit. Dedication for extra mobility. Soldier saved. Alright. 57 aim. Alright, let me just say um, probably hunter, um, survivalist, and sharpshooter will be our options here. I still take a 6 nobility juggernaut any day of the week. Take down flamethrower. I'm curtain. Hmm. Predator is kinda nice. Alright, um, Kaiju is. Almost. Um, Dragoon Marksman Combat Engineer. Get average aim. Eight packs, also nothing to write home about. Combat Engineer can get Shotgun Finesse for extra mobility. That should be Petrox Marksman, yes. I don't think I have any other Marksmen. Yeah, I think let's go with a Combat Engine. Yeah, I'm not. I don't have the proficiency uh, classes because um, there were some some issues in the past with the, especially with the hero plugin. And I feel like, especially like the um, tech specialist proficiency feels like any other hacking class is just terrible against that. Feels a little bit too too busted. And the marksman and the yeah, the, the proficiency classes are just. A notch too high, I think, on the on the power scale. Um, I like the idea, but yeah. All right. So we've got the ninja, electrician, pyromaniac, hacking score of one. I have no idea what the ninja can do, but you know, with decent dodge, decent mobility, and slightly below average aim, I think we can try it out. Let's see. You get shadow. Okay, and you get slash and slash. Oh, this is for adjacent enemies, and this is for enemies within movement range. So you don't have flash, so you don't get the X tiles moved damage bonus. This. And you start with knife juggler. Kill with primary weapon against bonus knife charges. Interesting. In edge, serrated fang. Wait, must okay. So this is more stealthy. 
Now, this is all, you know, while concealed, where he gets shadow. Shadow is not concealment, so I'm not sure if, if Stalker and Fate... No, Fate works... Well, no. Stalker works with, with Shadow, probably not. We get Recharge. Untouchable, Quick Feet, as Master Sergeant Berg. Stalker works in Shadow? Okay, cool. Cool. Hmm. Definitely interesting. Shadow Strike. Throw a knife as a free action. It is good to see you again. But nine. Hello, welcome back. Knife encounters at sergeant rank already. Yeah, unfortunately, he doesn't have uh, what is it? Rent the market. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll play around with this. Um, then we have Igor. It is good to see Assault again. Shredder Marksman again. I think I'll take a Marksman. It's not a fantastic aim, but... Um, yeah, let's, let's take a Marksman here. Just to have one. Snapshot, Snapshot Overwatch and Weapon Monster ability. Okay. We get Eagle Eye. Passive increase sight radius by five, which is gonna confuse the heck out of me. And you also get knife juggler. Oh, we're gonna have we're gonna go for combat knife builds. Like everybody gets knives. You get randomized. And strike it this. Okay, so you have like an Overwatchy build here. But with just one Overwatch shot, right? Hmm. Joker? How are you doing? Massa. Uh, Alright, so that leaves us with this guy. Or probably a specialist or dragoon. Dragoon. Maybe dragoon. Let me just see again. We didn't have we didn't get any any hackers, right? Yeah. Yeah, so then I want a let's go with dragoon. Eat football is nice to see. And we'll we'll figure something out on the way. Um you wanna suggest the marksman builds? I'm I'm listening. I might might put put some blue marks down, but I might also change my mind later on. I'm just gonna give you that as a fair warning. Also, um, the first, what, eight people on the list for the Redemptions can kind of figure out which one of those they want. Let me see. So that's Dietrich, Raging Fury, Busy, Free Soul, Tedster, Copyright, Crashio, Monkey Ball. Well, that's eight people that have redeemed. <laughs> Uh, crippling. All right. Uh, let me see. Predator, crippling strike. I like crippling strike for the utility. Swift throw. What? No. Double time. Bonus movement. Okay. Swift throw. So we're not going running on empty. Not going hunter build. Um, so cool under pressure here. 
think you have to t sell me on that one since we're not taking any of the other Overwatch perks. AMF. Oh, no scope enters auto overwatch. Okay. I don't think I've ever used strike rifles. I'll, I'll have a look, but I kind of feel like Hunter's Instincts might, might give more bang for the buck. If we can move, get a free throw with plus two damage and then a shot with plus two damage. It fixes the strike rifle damage, yeah. We'll see, we'll see. I mean, it's it's a long way until we reach Master Sergeant, right? Um, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. Okay. Let's see. Um, BZ says he would like the Juggernaut. Uh, and uh, unless you've done it in the in the thing here. BZ loading. Yeah, okay. Uh, I think this I can't copy paste here, right? That worked. Now, do I have you actually in the character pool, Tedster? And if I have you, do I have. Uh... It is good to see you again. I don't actually think I have a character of yours in the pool. So I'm just gonna call him Tedster and then. And then sort it out. Uh, if you have any customization options then for the guy, let me know. Hello, hello there. Um, Free Soul. I think you also have a Reaper, right? Free Soul. Uh, let me actually also mark you as complete. You mark this as complete. Uh, you just have to hit me up with the name here. Because I have a terrible memory and it's been six months since we since we streamed and uh, actually they'll have to, have to uh, manually enter in the names. Uh, that was, uh, um, just have to spell it correctly, then that works. Hopefully. Okay. All right, so, Citrix, Raging Fury. Copyright wanted the highest HP roll. Um... Didn't we have someone with a 7? Oh no, that was my test game. So, our combat engineer. That's fair, you can hold off if you want. So... Alright, here we go. At some point, you gotta tell me how to actually pronounce it. Um, I think I... It's an N, right? Not an M. And it's an... Mega.
No? What did I, what did I misspell here? Oh, that's the nickname. Yeah, okay, that's that's my... Well, that's much easier. Sorry about that, okay. Alright, um, Raging Fury. Anyone in particular you wanted to have here? Any class is fine. Then how about you take over the Crasher? Oh yeah, need no Jane Kelly here in this, in this. Area. Crashio would like the marksman. Okay. Um, I almost want to say you probably don't have a. I don't think you have a character on the board. So we're just gonna do the. Unless I'm completely wrong, then let me know what your names are. I need I need to make a spreadsheet like a logical asset. Like I really should do that at some point. Okay, so we have the ninja left. Uh, yeah, Andre, you didn't redeem. I don't see you on the list here. But I I like the idea, even though you you technically would be the last pick here. That with it it kind of would be fitting for. Um, your character to be the ninja. Hey, Zero! Welcome in. How are you doing? How's your campaign going? I'm just gonna make executive decision here that we're gonna have Sestra as the... Um, as the ninja, and then everybody else gets their character. No? Is it the wrong hood still? Yeah, I feel, I feel like I, I haven't really watched one of your campaigns from the start, but the idea of starting with a single soldier just seems kind of insane to me. Um, but, uh, yeah. Good to hear that it's going so well. Um, okay, everybody is set up, I think. My people have thrown off the shackles of alien oppression, and through discipline, we have survived. I did not make a no bad timer safe, so I guess we just have to uh, have to be good here. There are no bad timers; there are just um, bad squad infiltrations, something like that, at least. Okay. I feel like that didn't take too long. Six days, seven years. That's a five minute squad. Okay, jailbreak with what? One rookie? Two rookies, just one rebel. Oof. Rough. Okay. New Chaven squad button. So good. 
Um, let's bring. We hack it something. Um. The ninja get the marksman in there. Mm. Probably can only bring five people, and I kind of want to have a few rookies that we want to promote up. I didn't even check the rookies here. Yeah. Did we have anybody with actual good mobility? No. Nothing above six. No, that's an 18 mobility. So I'm kind of thinking 18 mobility rookie and 74 aim rookie is going to be our GTS GS pool. And we're going to bring Ico here. 69, 16, that's fantastic. Do we go with two rookies or with four, four originals? Uh, I think let's let's get the get the gate crusher team promoted a little bit. We've got four AP grenades, so I think we're gonna bring two on this squad and two on the other. leave you with as much mobility as possible as melee class so you're not gonna got anything to throw same thing pretty much for the sniper so strike rifle you said right now i'm not sure if strike rifle is the right play this early in the campaign though We're not really getting value out of it just yet, but we'll see. We'll test it out. We have decent aim. We can leave you leave our dragoon with the cannon for now. And what do I want on the rookie? I think we're going with an assault, assault rifle. So far, so good. Let's hopefully we uh, get a somewhat decent timer on the seconds. Well, that's an actually much better timer, and it's a supply extraction eight day timer. That's fantastic. I think we're going with six on this. Here's the question Do we bring our healing advisor or do we let him recruit? I think I'm gonna keep him in the haven for recruitment. Go with three rookies here and the and the rest of the team. Just have to re um, rotate the haven advisor. I don't want um, copyright to be stuck in the haven advisor role here. This is just at the start. All right, Charlie Butler has average stats. Minika here, and how about we take a crappy stats rookie? Maybe, maybe a high aim rookie on this. Seventy ego. I want one of the APs on free soul. Probably no second grenade. I 
think I want to have full mobility for um, takedown value. And you just keep the do you keep the auto rifle? No, let's actually go for the let's grab the flame torch. See if we can burn some stuff. Alright, what else? Um that's our two AP grenades. We've got a med kit. I think that's that's too much too much fleshy bangy stuff here. Two assault rifles seems okay. Now actually let's go. Now let's keep assault rifles. I'm kinda torn. I don't like a seven day timer and then the next missions are gonna take longer to show up again. To just go with five people. No, I think I, I think I want the promotions. Yeah, it's been so long since I started a campaign. Ready to deploy. I haven't started a, a fresh campaign since since 2023. Four point four days for recruits. Let's see if that's actually true. Okay, uh contact Avenger the black market. Oh Captain Bedrock also found his way here. Hello, Captain. What are you doing? Uh, Market is open. You're interested in my scopes. I think I'll sell a scope for extra money. Now, we didn't get any VIP missions, so we're not getting a scientist, we're not getting, getting an engineer. Um, so we probably want to buy... If we want to buy both, that's 235, so we need 50 more bucks. Can I get that? Uh, sell the core, sell four melts, that's forty. I don't want to keep the death perception, so let's just sell two corpses. Number of interesting discoveries, Commander. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this ah, technology. Get the dude digging. Report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Commander, we can now work to establish contact with local resistance groups operating out of regions around the globe. Don't think. Intel to make contact, we'll need to scan the target region for the operative signal. So in number two, I was a big fan of, of going basic research first, but I feel like that's not really viable anymore in especially mod gem. I don't know. It it, fe it feels like you're you're lagging behind a little bit too much against that first level of three when um Pathfinders and stuff shows up. Uh, I think I want to go South Africa. Uses two new things. I don't like that these two secondary regions are connected. Like this little triangle is just gonna buff each other's vigilance the whole time. Setting course for South Africa.
Alright, how much do we have? Two days. Okay. Attempting to establish local regional contact. I think Much we can obliged. wait. Just wanted to Richie. say, welcome Hello. aboard my wild ride. Hope you enjoy the Requiem episode 40 love. Actually, thank you very much for the bits and thank you all for all the work you've uh, put into that that mod uh, or these mods. Uh, really appreciate it and welcome to the stream. Uh, glad to have you here. Uh, I kind of want to want to get the. It's set for 0.4 days until we get the, the dude recruited. I want to get the recruitment tick before we switch back to Intel. There we go. And then I think we're gonna fly back. Setting course for sector 16, Indonesia. So that we can start um, helping with the mission finding here. And I'm actually going to over infiltrate that so that these two missions kind of line up a little bit more. I think you will find our results have exceeded expectations. I'll see that work begins immediately, Commander. I'll contact you when I have a full report available. Ah, launch it. Okay, uh, I think somewhere I used to do a thing, right? Um, predictions. Now, if only I knew where the hell I... Well, where did I start a prediction again? God, I'm so bad at this. Now, in the stream manager, there's a button down, down here, right? Uh, start a prediction. Not a prediction. Uh, I start. This, this is how we did this. Okay. There's a civilian here behind the pillar. I saw that. Squad concealment active. Ah, hello and welcome back. Well, if if today's stream was working fine, I'm gonna do more streams. I've missed this so much, and I'm so happy to do this again. And I'm so happy that everybody's here and watching. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll do some more streams. So don't worry. And I'm also gonna be uploading them to the uh, to the other channel there. Yeah. There's there's a civilian there. <laughs> to the watch right channel. On. Take this and see you tomorrow. Thank you very much for the resub, for, for the prime sub. Appreciate it. Heading there now. Uh, okay. Well, it's a, it's a seven to nine. What are we expecting here? I'll be right there. Maybe seven to nine enemies. And probably a drone somewhere that's going to be in an awkward position. I don't like being open to this side, but yeah, it's... Yes. Yes. Oh, of course, you come in from that side. Okay. Well, that, that group basically screams um, AP grenade. Uh, Alternatively, that group also screams flamethrower opener. So we're just gonna... Because we have a little bit of a walk here. To get to the cells. I heard you. I like, I like that ambush position here. I'm waiting on you. Get in there. Yeah. 
get over here. Um, so. Watching here. I've got you back. Keep in mind, flamethrower is a hundred percent chance to burn with more gem. This way, we're not putting the whole map on alert. This might burn a little. Covers blown. Engineer needs some extra loving. Everybody else is gonna die from the burn. Uh, why did we not trigger the drone? Oh, we, that's edge only see the drone because of the additional uh, sight range here. Yeah. I mean, I'm gonna, gonna also attack the drone here. Unless we can just hack it. Yeah, no, let's just no scope it. Greetings yourself. Uh, you see, I think I just gotta be quicker about it. That's what it is. And now I can shoot it again? Well, oh, no, it's not in range. Um, okay. Down one more. I, I I get the I get the strike rifle love, I think. Keeping a watch over here. Do I finish off the engineer here? Because he's not gonna burn to death, I think so. Let's just grab him. Uh, You're trying, my patience. It's good enough. It's good good enough. Awesome. Die, die, die. Free kills for Tetsta. Easy. Alright, I heard a door. Could be this one, could be that one. I don't I don't think the front door is going that way that using that sound. So the the weird thing is normally in this building you have a few um prisoners here, a free prisoners there, and if you hack this door, then this door also opens. But all our prisoners spawned up there, so we actually have to get over there for the hack. Which is annoying to say. Faster. Got it. Moving. Again, there. I think I wanna. I wanna see what's happening. Sectoid and some other dudes. Uh, we can go to Shadow here. What is it this time? And come from this side. Anyway, Sectoid goes. Maybe he's going to be in range over via the rooftop. What's over there? No eyes. That puts us at six enemies, though. We need to find somebody else still. Let's have a look here. Um, is it? Cost an action. 
looks like it costs an action, right? And I'm not sure, I feel like I, I'm missing the colored ability icons. Or white is one action cost, right? Three action. Yeah, then I'm, then I'm probably missing some setting or some mod that would okay. turn that green for me. It's just a civilian. Okay. Let's see what's up there. Great. These guys make up the bulk of the Advent forces we've dealt with. They're disciplined and well equipped, but their obedience makes them predictable. I tire of waiting. I don't get intercepts, so I don't have any overwatches here on Leo. Just get over there. Yep. Yeah, it just might might be a little bit tricky. You have three guys here, two guys there. That's the rest of the map right around the corner. Ah, let's Getting. see. I'm covering that area. Yeah, that's that's gonna activate here, so hopefully we get a nice cannon overwatch. Maybe, maybe we don't. Oh, hi. Not some advent here. It's not cool. That is even less cool. Don't see the don't see the sectoid officially. He's there. So that is not a that is not a flank here. I think we come down. Here. We destroyed the cover? Why would we destroy the cover? Cover destruction in my axe gone? That's not acceptable. Okay, if we clear the panic, then you can come here and shoot this guy, I guess. So, Tetsa can come down here and burn the assault guy. Just means that... Oh, we, we never... I don't think we renamed the um, Dragoon. He needs to roll 4 damage on this guy. You're gonna be out in the open. Uh, but if that's the only guy left alive, then this is actually not a terrible position. Really? Now, there is of course the chance that he survives that. Okay, is there a magical tile where we hit the trooper and hit the sector through the ground? And don't hit Sestra and don't hit myself. Yes, there is. Okay. I'm going. Oh I need a 
fresh kill. Let's go. Okay. Up. What is this? This is so so not what I want to be doing here. That tile, that tile also works, is closer to the trooper. X comes too easy. Yeah, 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 got it. Nice one. Bye bye. All right, question now. Could we, um, no, we can't. Okay. So we do this. Get a nice burn on that guy, and you're gonna... Um, around the side. Ah, that was a good flank. Gotta give that to the trooper. That was a mean flank. Injuries. But a watch list hack. Obviously, also we're using the uh, fudge dice roll remover, or maybe not remover mod. Got the I think I think I'm gonna take the um, plus one, plus ten aim and plus one damage on on melee attacks. Staying for the ninja seems like a solid pick. Okay, maps clear. Uh, uh, right, my back is. I hear you. There you are. It's going to run the other direction there. Because very often in the jailbreaks, I feel like Evac is right back at the start and you're running through the whole map for 225 no turns. Status confirmed. We've secured a civilian contact. Um. We do have a hacky tower in that direction. How way is that? Oh, we have one here right at the evac. What you got for me? Nothing. All right. Oh, we're gone. We'll leave in. Uh, loot. You have 14, you have 13. Okay. What is it this time? I always get what I want. And a bell launcher. Good to go. Move that way, mates. Hey, everybody, out. VIP secure. In position for we Eva. secured a civilian contact. Why would you run that way? Run this way. Faster. I'm waiting on you. Move. I, I can, I can feel the strike rifle. Uh, it's um, and so far that's not really a class specific thing, or is it? I'm not even Good sure. Timing. Status confirmed. Right. Uh, choose prediction outcome. Not flawless. Even now, our enemy lurks in the shadows, plotting to destroy all we have built, to return us to the chaos of the old world. Only together can we oppose them, 
United in the Elder's love for us, we shall prevail, no matter the cost. Yeah, I like that first activation already, right? I take a shot at the drone, I go into Overwatch, take another shot as it's scattered, and if it would have been in range, I could have taken a third shot. Like, what? <laughs> This is the first mission of the game after Gatecrasher, and you're giving me those many actions, attacks? That seems kind of wild. Um, okay, let's do... Of course we do promotions on the on the mission return screen, not from the barracks, right? That's... Alright, Ninja. I, I feel like it's gotta be Blade Master. Um... Although that feels like we're just building a shinobi here a little bit, right? Combatives, cutthroat, whirlwind, concentration, definitely concentration. Real blades. That has a lot of good shit here. Like quick feet, considering you have shadow. Blade Master, yeah. So we'll, we'll have to see how how much of the knife we actually used. I mean, there's like I, I locked in here concentration already, but the swift throw free actions are great, right? That's that's also kind of good. Combatives versus stalker versus crippling strike is also a tough choice. I think I'm gonna go blade with this at all. Especially early game, getting these, we were always at like 93 to hit, and this turns this into 100 hit with of course Grace Chance, blah blah. Yeah, we've got Keen Edge, but we also have Butcher. And we have very low intelligence, so 28 points. And so Keen Edge loses some of the value since with if we get Cutthroat, we already ignore all armor. So the armor ignore from Keen Edge. Then again, we could say, okay, then we don't get Cutthroat. We get Knife Encounters. I mean, don't get me wrong. Tracking is strong. Tracking is like... I really like tracking on my Reaper and on any other class that has it. Let's see. The thing is, we don't have any other um, any other melee classes at the moment, right? So, we gotta go for that. Oh, you have very high combat ends. Yeah, I can see that we get some value out of that stuff. Burial shots, maybe. Does that work with snapshots? Um, so we, I think we're going for this first build, and I'm kind of seeing the value of cool under pressure. Since we're basically going to be overwatching almost every single turn with, with, if we keep using the strike rifle. I want to give it a try. Um, okay, then our technical. Um, I'm going to go with fire in the hole here, although we're probably going to go for flames. Then again, I'll fix up whatever I need to fix up and then we respect next turn to have the new trees. Uh, yeah, for next next stream, and then dragoon. It's most likely gonna be my what I've always done in the past. Scouty dragoon, right? 
Phantom, Trojan, probably overlays. Stealth into whatever, into whatever. So take him blinding here. We need, we need a hacky supporty guy here, and that's gonna be our Dragoon for now. Another core, gonna have PCS. Got two more rookies. And Tedsta and Crashio. Uh, that is what? Technical and uh, Marksman? Sure. No photos. We don't take, we're not taking pictures here. And, and again, it's like, oh, you don't want me to do, use character pool? Well, it's true. You were using character pool anyway for your for your rookies that you get from the jailbreak. It's like what? But only for one of them, not for two, because um, we're not consistent. Anyway, I go. Watchdog agent survivalist. Okay, let me rephrase this. Agent or survivalist? Oh, Illogical has the, that fixes the, the character pool things. Isn't it just so that his uh, hero class gets selected from the character pool or something like that? Uh, no. Just one one character per class. If that character dies, we are not gonna have like if our shinobi dies, we're not gonna have a shinobi in the campaign. From that point on. Yeah, agents can can work with any stat roll. That is that is definitely right. Sixty nine rookie aim is not super high, but is definitely above average. So it would make a good sniper survivalist. And we don't really have a stationary sniper yet. Um. Now, before somebody says, "Oh, you can make an agent sniper," I don't. I I I really want a stealthy agent because. Again, Highlander rules, we don't have that many stealth classes, so I think everybody who can go stealth will probably go stealth. I will get, what, three more rookies from the other mission. I'm sure we get another hacker. An agent is basically a hacker. It's just a short-range hacker. So if I, oh no. Um... Man, I'm really torn on this. No, I really want an agent because the, the other factor is not just the stats. The factor is how quickly are we getting it. And I think an agent needs to be one of your early soldiers because they need some, some ranks to actually start to shine. But once you get here, um, so, so I'm thinking definitely a perfect plan. Phantom, Combatives. Will you consider this? Or did something change here? Um, lightning Bang? Something like this? Which I always hated that it takes so long until you get something to like Shadow Melt to reset your run and slice cooldown. What do we have down here? Fastball, lead the target, surprise. Ambush, whirlwind though. Whirlwind is, is pretty, pretty fantastic. Blend, blend can be now blend for, uh, especially since it will re-trigger um, 
quick feed, right? Just gonna just gonna mark those two as like for me the most important ones. Well, wind is such a good uh, thing. We, like can can run it slice and then reposition with whirlwind. I think normally I would go this right. This is my normal build. God, it's been so long. When was the last time I played more gen? I feel like I barely remember how I played this. Yeah, there's the, the approach with the shotgun and taking double tap. But then I'm then I kinda need to skip combatives, right? I need something to reset my cooldown. Now keep in mind, um knives have been nerfed. I don't know the exact changes. Um but I'm fairly certain the, the recent illogical no fun allowed uh, patches in as, ma as many uh, quotation marks as you want, um, did tone down knives a little bit. Yeah, the crit chance. I don't know the exact numbers though, so maybe with anatomy, um, we're still gonna get there. It's like oh, the light foot is super good. Untouchable is one of my favorite things. This is this is a tough decision, which is you know, I always think they're very good if the game gives me tough decisions for perks. Nine days, so I'm gonna miss out on, on one rotation on those guys. The new faceless here on Intel. And then let's get that other mission going. Prediction? Um, do we have one of these other predictions here saved? Uh, let's do... Yes. No. That way. Start. Advent forces are in the process of airlifting a number of supply crates out of this area, and we have an opportunity here to take a few for ourselves. Locate and mark the crates with transponders, and Firebrand will handle the rest. So, does anyone know the exact nerf then to uh, to knives? In motion. A like tier three knife, I think, was fifty percent crit chance. It used to be. Like the only thing I'm I'm scared of on this, these kind of missions is always the early starter drone. Yeah. Ruins your time and then it's like, oh yeah, crates are being marked, what you gonna do now? That spot's calling to us. Um, yeah, I want somebody to Stepping peek off. around the right hand side here. I think it's too early to say um, Got it, sir. who's winning on the predictions after one one mission, but that's just me. All right. You can waste your points any any way you want. No problem, squad leader. I'm on the move. I do find that area of research to be among the more Commander, we currently have no new available. supplies I've missed I've missed that uh, yeah okay I'm just gonna assume copyright you want to reset the cooldowns on all of those so that nobody can spam them I appreciate it thank you for your service come on well they 
this doesn't look good. It's fantastic. We're on our way. Affirmative. Ah, oh, Jeffy Flame Torch was really the right answer there for the crasher. That's affirmative. So, how is that? Any crate that we've had in our line of sight can be marked by the enemy? Moving into position. Do I see all three of them? Yes. Okay. So we can trust with the red tiles. You... I like this spot's energy. Let's go. Yeah? It is good to see you again. We're looking over here with crates. What's that? Bike Yaki, yellow. What are you doing? Uh, the crate here, so okay. I want somebody over there. You can probably stay there. Yes. This is boring. Nearing strike range. Scanning. I'll keep an eye out. I am not sure if we want to do an Overwatch reveal or if we we have two flamethrower people. And we have a bunch well, we have two AP grenades. That is that is a pretty good AP grenadeable group there. I think I want to actually have you on Overwatch, throw that grenade, and then we'll have our other guys ready to to clean up if we need to. We need to defend that zone. Might even let's not do any more moves here. Let's let's throw that grenade. I think I'm going to center it on on one of the troopers. Live. Get some distance. We got trouble. Beautiful. Well, that was magical. Can use a fair and balanced. Gotta, gotta keep using that Juggernaut attack before um, somebody puts a cooldown on it, eh? I think we're just chilling here. Yeah. All right. Won't do that, maybe. I'm losing control of the situation! This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Double frost droid. Sectoid, all the way back there. Alright. What did it get marked? This one, seriously. Is on route to make the pickup. Alright, so we're gonna have to send you and Shadow. All the way over there. Scout out that this crate is safe to get. Keep 
here, I don't see this direction. If I go here, I don't see that direction. Maybe I go here. Yeah, right. let's go here. Okay, looks safe to get. That means um, Igor can run it. Grab it. Good work. Advent's locator is down and our transponder is active. Firebrand will handle the pickup. Raging Fury grabs this Closing one. On target. My E4 back, grab that one. And we've got a Psy Zombie 50 mobility, that's 10 tiles. I think I've got to just fall back, because there's no way I can guarantee the kill with these two attacks here. Yeah? Short, keep me safe. And we need to get the loot next turn. Somehow. Yes, sir. Acknowledged. Taking position. My eyes are so if you're also on a watch, you can start shooting this thing. Just sent his, his um, say his voice line before he missed. Firebrand is on deck for recovery. Keep marking those crates, Menace One Five. Fair enough. Three more crates here on this side. Very much tempt. Ah, oh, I can't reach the frost droids. Okay. We might just go here so we don't trigger them. Okay, I will need to know where that last group is, though. Moving on. We're gonna be back here. Back there, I guess. Yes, sir. Got it. Okay. Let's work some magic on that zone. Were you expecting a magic I need Well, I made you disappear. Edgy, very edgy. On Overwatch. Ah, right, you watch there. You're gonna go. Let's just actually fall back here, just somewhere sure. so I don't see them anymore when I lose my concealment start next turn. Um, although they might just walk into me, like I'm one tile away from activating here, so I might yes. as well go one tile away from activating now. Confirm coordinates. Affirmative. This is boring. What's happening? Alright, so they didn't move at all. Yeah. How does Hinchmanny pay these days anyway? <laughs> Uh, it's all kind of grouped up here. Wise choice. Huh. Like, I can reach that crate, and I can reach this crate, but I don't think I can reach both. Unless we get a nice takedown target here somehow.
How are we not activating this group here so far? Um, let's yeah, let's let's go up here. was good. That was good. Gives me takedown on this guy. And then what? Then flamethrower on these two. You're so far back though. You can't really contribute. Uh, what can you do? Let's slash. Smash the sectoid. You can take on that, do that. If we flame pro this, then this guy has a flank shot on me. Although we run here and he's gonna be flanked. Right? No. Here. So we're losing a crate, I'm sorry about that, but there's no way I can get this. Well, Juggernaut has a point of armor, so if he rolls free damage, I, I might be good. Oh, I can do... Do we trust this? Do we... Get the takedown from the door and have a closed door, but then now we need to be out here anyway for the flame floor. What I'm talking about. Yeah, that's like I could take down and then move to the crate, get the crate, but then I don't have control on an assault trooper and a regular trooper. Then it's three people shooting. I think that's. I like crates. I like crates very much. Uh, but I don't want to take free attacks here. Yeah. Game over. This should be sufficiently destructive. Sir, I have visual on the object. Permission to approach. I have no idea what this thing is. Yeah, I don't. I don't have the actions to get the get both crates here. Yeah. Get this. Uh, actually, you need <laughs> right to on. go over there. Twelve crate flawless. No, illogical. It's not going to be twelve crates because I can't get that. And welcome back. How you doing, my friend? <laughs> What's up? Moving to Overwatch. Prediction outcome? Not max crates. Advent just dare lifted out their first crate. We're gonna have to move fast if we want to get the rest. At the moment, I'm not concerned about crates, I'm concerned about that trooper. No, 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 you're supposed to kill the other guy. No! Like, I need my Juggernaut to be alive, please. Easy. Easy game. Come on. I'm in motion. Alright, and now just just because I can, 
Uh, we're gonna take down this. And shoot this. And then get the kill with the Reaper. Sectoid doesn't understand that he's dead. Oh, you already have your promotion. Maybe Crasher promotion? You're gonna get your promotion, I'm fairly certain, but... Lightning Smash. Yoink. Nothing I got no idea there. what this thing is. Approaching target now. Okay, uh, three crates over on this side. Yeah. Ten four. I know. I know Advent's gonna mark next turn, but I don't care. At this point, I think we can just mark everything. Well, no, it's less ten percent crit. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Oh, you based that on the on the attack just now? Okay. I'm not sure. You know, we got eleven crates on the first mission, and flawless on top of that. I think that's not something to be said about. So you just lost your point on me on betting for max crates, but time to show you how much stamina I got. <laughs> stamina. We only got two mi two injuries from the other mission, so I was not really not keen on getting more people injured. Keep in mind, we get the second region contact here in a second. Means we have four missions we need to run. Yes, and yes. I'm certainly going to put in a good word for you oh, if we make it out of here. Easy evac before reinforcements even announce themselves. Oh, there's, there's one more. I'm going. Hey, not in the evac zone yet, Igor. Yeah, no. All XCOM operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Yeah, so what are the new stats of the tier 3 knife? That's, that's, you know, still nobody. I, oh, I missed it. If I missed it, sorry, but I kinda didn't see it. You take that today. back, Andre. Don't even say that in, in jest. Trust in their wisdom, and we shall overcome this crisis. We're not joking about that. As long as there is even one Reaper left standing, you can bet they're still in the fight. Finger on the trigger. Um. All right. We're gonna. What are we gonna do here? Probably flamer stuff, right? We do have Predator. And not much else that's worthwhile anything. Serial? But relies on cannon kills, right? Now I think we're gonna go uh, definitely uh, incinerator. Don't move na napalm, I guess. Yeah, let's just go phosphorus, right? Twenty percent crit only. From fifty percent down to twenty. We'll see. We'll see about the rest here. Um, yeah, let's go Phosphorus. That also helps us against... Uh, what are they called? Abjurers? I think normally I went priority target here, but no, Phosphorus I think makes sense. Oh, Beam. Oh, I forget. Sorry, I forgot that there are five tiers in Mojam. Like, tier 3 knife for me was the plasma knife, okay. 
My mistake. Implacable. Fastball. Hidden reserves. I don't think that it works with rockets. It's really just grenades. I mean, with total combat, you have a grenade slot, but uh, yeah. I'm really torn. Hey, Black and Crown, how are you doing? Um, I'm, I'm torn because of this, right? If you've seen my, my YouTube campaign, like the banish spam against the Chosen felt a little bit cheap. It's like, yeah, we have one weapon or arsenal, which is banish, and we're going to use that on every single Chosen encounter to just kill the Chosen. But it also works really well. Well, we can't... Rocket Reaper is really just the bigger they are, right? Um, well, you kind of need total combat. Because you can use the grenade slot for rockets. Which means you lose out on a lot. Could you do Blood Trail and still go Rocket Reaper? Because that's a lot of banish damage. That's 12 points of damage on, on, on banish. Banish damage, banish damage. Don't turn any rockets. Okay. Hey, let's let's not let's not look too hard into banish. Okay. So we're going we're going rocket reaper. So we're going total combat. So that means we don't have knives we can throw for Crippling Strike or any of the other knife perks. So probably... Maybe we even go in Death Dealer. Definitely Silent Killer. Rocket Reaper obviously is a Silent Killer. Um, homing Mine is fun. I'm kind of leaning to Implacable. Do we have anything hidden reserves that is reset the cooldown of your actions? We only have shadow, right? We don't we don't have any other cooldown specific actions here. Banish if we were to take it. The thing is, keep in mind though, um, this is the the nerf to banish, and I'm not sure. We don't have the uh, unnerf ability in Master Sergeant's rank that you have in baseline. So this is that 20 aim per shot banish. We'll, we'll, we'll burn that bridge when we get there. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking first strike, first strike death dealer. Ah, and first strike also works nice with banish. Eh, I don't know. It's definitely not fearsome, and well, it's got to be first strike. I, I don't like fearsome, and rent the mark's not gonna work anyway. We don't have knives. One of those. Alright. Um, our Crasher can get Salvo, Zone of Control, Slug Shot. Why is Salvo here? What am I missing? Eat this, we've got Bandolier. 
Sting grenades? I guess you can do something with Packmaster and Salvo and Sting grenades, but that feels like eh. We're using combat knives, which, as we see, have been nerfed, right? Do the uh, plasma knives, the highest tier knives, then still justify the cost of an Illyrium core? I don't know. Like, I'm kind of leaning towards zone of control, because we're going to be aggressively going in with a knife, but also slug shots. Forget about the flame torch, go for the... Go for the uh, shotgun. Or huh? we go for the melee stuff. And um, equip the trial thing. The, 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 the freezy flame torch. So my, my pro problem with Slugshot is that I tend to stay back and then I'm not like, then I'm missing out on Lightning Slash value because Lightning Slash is right, reposition, single action, taking damage. That's kind of utility. I think, I think we're going, let's go Zone of Control. I don't even want to be tempted with Slugshot. I want to be in the front lines, okay. Experimental magazine is fantastic. Although we don't have any ammo yet, but if we once we get ammo, I love those. Cryo torch, is that what it's called? Yeah. See it's it's like in, in um Backpack battles, I'm not sure if anyone is playing. I also like if I'm playing Pyromancer to then go for the for the frost build once you select your class items. Anyway. Um Cryo later. Yeah. Cryo later. Have a good time. Uh, anyway, um Mr. Butler, roboticist, technician agent. We already have an agent, so can't pick that. Um, so, Robo or Technician, which is fantastic, fantastic selection. <laughs> Base hex score one. So I know in the past I've often complained about the, the Technician Sniper feeling weak, but I'm in my test game I had a Technician. And they've can, been really in there's some interesting changes. You have frost map here. Um so you have a shot that automatically applies bitter frost. You can go for a thing like the top row more or less is like a crit based thing. Like every crit will apply bitter frost. Like if you create hundred percent chance of apply bitter frost. Um so and I'm assuming if you do frost snap and crit, then you apply two charges. Then you have icy winds is basically uh, do, 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 a lead the target that applies frost. I kind of want to, I probably want to test the, the sniper build here a little bit. Maybe just full top row. What do we have here? Lethal. Interrogator. What? what? Revival. I mean, there's some good support abilities here, right? With like basically everything, the first four. But if we're going to be sniping, then it's just going to be lethal. Two extra damage? Thank you. I'll take that.
yeah, I had one hex score, right? So 41 is like the least, the, the lowest hex score you can technically have. So we're not going to be hacking much. Then again, there's nothing that really, like outside of Haywire, nothing that relies on hacking. Okay, let's look at Igor with his 70 aim here. What can you be? Technical Roboticist Hijacker. Eight basic is not not super low, so it's gonna be one of the gremlin classes. Huh. Let me see the other guy first. Or oh, the lady here. Strapper Infantry Buccaneer. I do like Buccaneer a lot. And that is not terrible mobility, that is not terrible aim. All right, Robo. Mm, there's one point I want to make for Hijacker is we don't really have many stealth classes so far, right? We have none. Agent eventually. What is this? Also gets Phantom. Sold. Shot. Street sweeper. That doesn't sound like a stealth class at all. Um. Okay. So we start with combat protocol, which I still think is worse in the current iteration than it uh, used to be. Like the the cooldown over the charges that we had before. Uh, it's just, you know, my my rent on the side. Chaining Jolt, I remember that. We like we, we played with a roboticist before and we never had enemies in a position where it would actually jump. I was getting excited if it if we had a two target chaining jolt, it's like whoa. Amazing. Shield protocol, even average combat attention. There's a lot of good shit here. Shotgun finesse, winter, full override. Oof. Yeah, that could be a decent officer. I can also see some, definitely some salty kind of thing. Okay, running gun all the way at the end, but they, we could turn them into. A mechanical killer, right? Fracture, heat, shotgun finesse. Target focus is also against, like, if you take fracture, you basically one shotting drones. Ish. Fair point. Fair point. We're already one-shotting drones with combat. Yeah, but only every uh, once every four turns, right? <laughs> right on. Hey, Vendrex. Welcome, Welcome back, Commander. Back. Thank you very much for the resub. Welcome back to you too. By the way, one thing I'm kind of uh, semi-announcing today. I, I was. Very eager to do this test, to run this test today, because I really, really want to have a stream, wanted to have a stream next week. And if somebody figures out why next week is so um, important for me, then then you win a 
you, you win nothing, but uh, then I'd be impressed. Uh, anyway, we have a few um, few redemptions here. Uh, so I seem to remember. Uh, not my birthday was in February. The technician, right? Was it was it the technician that you wanted, Dietrich? Or was it the was it something else? Now I'm getting confused. Vendrex is close. <laughs> right on. First, oh, thank Tusker you very much. Technically, good luck in this campaign, Commander. Thank you very much for the sub. Appreciate it. The game calendar starts on March first. Um, my very first stream here on Twitch was. Uh, I think I, I need to actually look up what exact date this is. So I think it was the 27th of March, 2014. So basically a 10 year Twitch anniversary, even though, you know, in between I haven't streamed for six years, but then who, who counts, right? At least that's been 10 years ago, the first time I did any sort of streaming. Um. Right, that was you. Okay, we got Komotex, Montreal's, Pensive Owl, and Masa. Uh, well, Masa, you're too late. Technician is gone. Uh, somebody else had first pick. Um, so. I'm gonna wait two seconds. Pensive Owl for the agent. Get in there, all right. Yeah, we still have, so the Buccaneers up for grabs. Um, what else? The Dragoon is also still up for grabs. I feel like we should have more still available. No? No. All right. No, the robot roboticist, Buccaneer, and Dragoon. Did you have a character? I feel like you submitted some, uh, one some, at some point, didn't you? Again. Remind me of uh, first and last name. Oh, you you, you had that in the, your message. Uh, okay. All right. Done. Um, that leaves us with the Robo and the Dragoon. I, I haven't heard from the two in a while here in chat, so I'm just gonna make an executive decision. Uh, let's just do empty first name and then last name. This is Monkey Arms and... And then the Robo. Oh, I really like this custom uh, 
created character. If I'm not mistaken. More dates, yeah. Helps being one of the uh, master sergeants in the YouTube campaign. Okay, everybody taken care of. Let's find us some new missions here. Second round of missions. Thanks, please. New objective. The Advent officers have clearly been modified to allow for their subordinates to receive new orders psionically. The implanted chip is the key. I agree. That is an important task, Commander. 15th, and we don't have the second set of missions yet. Feels like it's not giving me what I need. I'm fairly certain it says it was 2014. Um, because it was where um, it must have been after the launch of Enemy Within, Enemy Unknown came out in 2012. I think I looked it up like in um, in in my YouTube in the in the creator view. I can see the actual date when it was uploaded. But yeah, in the description of the first video, it says from the live stream from March twenty eight. That is a terrible timer. Huh? Rapid targeting training. Enemies in this location have been relentlessly drilled on how to exploit the advantages of Overwatch, getting a bonus to damage dealt against exclusion from reaction fire. Well, we just don't get hit from reaction fire. We get a gunslinger? That is awful. So that would have been, I guess, that would have made a point for not buying the scientist from the black market. So we guarantee a scientist on this mission and not a soldier, huh? That is uh, terrible. Hi. Right. Can't even bring four people. We can't even bring four people. What? Um, let me see what we can do here. So you both work without having additional items. Then I think we want. Our agent. Maybe we can bring in a rookie with an SMG. I hate everything about this right now. Nailed it. Oh my god. Is this really how we're gonna do? Do we have um, suppressors? No. I think that works, right? Like, we have uh, a Blade Master here, so we're gonna just kill everything. And also, um, concealment scouting, right? 
Shadow. Run and slice into shotgun to the face. Take down. Flame for ambush on the first group. And an AP grenade. Yeah, so the two hour buffer um, that I used to always leave um, is already basically baked in now by default. So we could actually you now say, oh, we don't need two hours buffer, one hour buffer we find now. That's, let's just see what if we can make this. Now I'm hoping that this was the first does that mean the one rebel we rescued was the faceless or the one we recruited maybe? Not much better. Ah, uh, hacky mission. We want probably our hackers. Um now we're gonna finish making contact in the other region. And we're gonna get two missions over there, hopefully, right? So we have one, two, three, four, five, six people. So I think we're gonna bring... Uh, we might not actually get the perfect setup over there. If I don't bring you, it might take three days for the other mission to go. Oh, those guys also heal up. So yeah, we can bring free free here. So let's bring a Crasher and our Reaper and see if we can squeeze in a Rookie or two. There's no way we can squeeze in two rookies, is there? It is good to see you again. I think the SMG is gonna make that difference. Hey, Heza, welcome back. How are you doing? Um An extra grenade in here. And we go on hunting shotgun. Grab the laptop because why not? Keep AP grenades for the other campaign, for the other mission. Man, those, uh, like all these setups are not filling me with confidence. That was a terrible set of second timers, yeah. Sky Ranger in position for deployment. All right, let's get some more faceless going here. Yeah. Setting course for Sector Thirteen, South Africa. Oh yeah, let's see. That was I had in mind. That in the description it says then March seven, twenty seven. Regional contact located. All right, let's get it crash you in here just while we're searching for a mission. Strength one region, fantastic. We ticked over to force level two. Does that already mean is anything nasty already showing up? Is that Pathfinder or is Pathfinder in Force Level 3? I, we've done an army of four campaign in, in Long War. Surely we can do a couple of four man missions in, in Mod Jam, right? Let's just hope we don't have too many sentries, sentinels, guardians, whatever it's called. So what's coming on to? 
turrets. The resistance is asking for our help in rescuing a VIP currently being held by Advent in this region. We're moving in to neutralize any alien forces protecting the transport vehicle. Lock down the AO and secure the target package. Menace one five, we have a confirmed location for the VIP. Move to rendezvous. Eliminate all hostile contacts. Well, we're kind of relying in both missions a little bit on flamethrowers, so let's hope we don't we're not getting too many fire immune enemies here. Yeah. Let me just swing you around. How are we going here? Yeah, let's let's go around the outside. Around the outside. The outside. Ready to watch a real That's what I was scared of. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. I shall win your battle shortly. Well, I'm not scared, right? I'm not scared. Just uh, you know, respect a good drone. And you give me eyes on that drone. Okay. Oh, so that means you can go here. Time to show you how much stamina I got. <laughs> stamina. Predictions. Yeah, we can do predictions. Sorry, I forgot about that. Let's do start a prediction about mission outcome. All right, so, you know, it's it's been half a year. Still rusty to get back into the streaming habits. Now that is actually... That thing moving away is... Kind of nice, I think. Are we there yet? Heads up, check out this way. I'm just gonna here completely walk along the edge of the map and not just discover any enemies. Yeah, nothing, okay. I'm waiting on you. I'm back here, are you? You would. Show our foes no mercy. Okay, found five, and I think there was another group down there. Hmm. That's not going to be a problem. Seven enemies right at the objective. Just tell me I didn't see that correctly, and it's just you know, it's just the same group kind of showing up twice. That's a weird group. Gunner, civilian, civilian. No time like the present. Yeah, that's one hell of a flame flamethrower ambush. If we can get that. You know, not sure what I'm looking at here. What is it this time? Ready or not, here I come. Brothers, let's move this way. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm not taking away the good spots for the flamethrower. Can I move you somewhere else? 
Sure they are. Yeah, yeah, we hear you. Ah, they're definitely going to be in flamethrower range, yeah? Are they? Six, seven... I think? Oh, come. As an assault trooper, so an AP opening is also not fantastic. Maybe just, just lean a little bit more? No? We go for the Overwatch opener, which is going to be awful, right? Because we don't have Overwatch here on, on Milos, it's like we don't have an Overwatch ability. We have an SMG here, and then on short range Overwatch. I guess it's still better than a single target flamethrower. Alternative IP grenades. Which doesn't do anything against the gunner, but might take down the trooper and might, if we get super lucky, take down the gunner. The, the thing is, well, okay, last turn they moved from here to here, which was like four tiles. Like normally they move around eight tiles, so they would reveal me. Yeah, frag and I'm, I'm also thinking frag into bonk might be the give us the most options. So I think we're just gonna just gonna go this way. Send on the gunner, maybe we can take him out. Yeah, there's I think there's another pot that went around this way. Like those were other guys we saw initially here. The guys up up here, I think there was a blue Overwatchy duty. And then this guy. And we have the drone somewhere over there. That's the map. Ah, whatever. What's the worst that can happen? Nobody bet their points on flawless, right? Got a double kill! That freaking voice line. I got a double kill. I was like, yes! And I see two civilian names. It's like, no! Not like this. Well, we're gonna have some willpower problems because I think we gotta go here and flamethrower. So we're not gonna bonk at all. Got it. All right, triggering these two guys. Medic and another trooper, and yeah. And that is not hitting the assault or not hitting the other. Oh god, this is awful. This is not good. Shotgun for the bonk. Um, I think you need to take down this trooper here. Which might activate the last group. I'll see from there. Is there's a bio and a other guy? Okay. That is not great. Like this much. This is not great at all. 
I would have thought I can get all three here with Flamethrower, but I can't even get two. Well, I can get two, but nah, not the two I want. Three point two tile scatter. Not the rocket that I need here. Yeah? Something to be said about taking this and hoping it denies this assault trooper the path here. Maybe he sets himself on fire. Not getting the trooper kill here is, is hurting. This is pretty butt indeed. Alright. So we're gonna go. We gotta kill the gunner, yeah. We gotta take down the gunner. It's still the, the biggest threat. Burn as many other tiles as possible. He might set himself on fire if he moves. Same thing for this guy. That's not terrible. Then the question is... Can I come here, take out the trooper, shotgun the medic, and leave myself open to flanks from the bio and the sentry? And also be a nice um, bio grenade target, which all sounds really terrible. Or I just come in, kill the trooper, and then bugger off over here, flanking the sentry. And maybe causing some, like the sentry going on overwatch with this thing is also scary. That would also flank this guy, so he moves, sets himself on fire. See you later, alligator. So I think we definitely killed the regular trooper, yeah? Then the question is, do I go here or do I go here? Because I kind of want to... I don't want this medic to come around here and flank, flank me there. Yeah, so maybe we just go here. Not flanking the sentry, but that's fine. So you require my aid. How expected. The Citrap gives them additional damage on overwatch shots. So much for them setting themselves on fire. Also, they're high rolling the damage rolls right now. Ah, well, I guess I guess that wasn't a high roll. Please don't kill me. You have ensured your demise. Please don't heal your Okay. Um sentries. They're ready for anything. They don't have covering fire yet. So we can run this overwatch. Hang on a second. I can just attack like this, right?
it's showing that I take the overwatch shot here, but I lose concealment when I attack him, not when I start moving. Bonus damage to against XCOM soldiers from reaction fire. Drones are there. Okay, that's a little bit of an issue here. Can we get the kill on the well the dr I don't care about the drone. I do care about everything else though. No idea how well I can kill the sentry. But then again I'm seven tiles away from these two. Which means I can't get the flamethrower in there. I think I need to flamethrower these three guys here. Assuming we can kill the bio guy. Oh boy. That helps. Are you truly the best this realm could offer? And I get the medic with the flame floor if he's right in front of me. Uh, usually short work I am I'm yelling I'm yelling at you yelling yelling can you hear me yelling but I'm not getting the trooper We're hunting pixels. You will bet we're hunting pixels. This should be sufficiently destructive. Oh, I don't have the um, what did I actually lose thing for loot destroyed. Uh, I know our agent is our hacker, but I think we just got a hack here. And hope the sentry doesn't kill Pensive. I'm in smoke here, that's I'm, I'm less scared of that. Drone is gonna come in and reach us for a stun, we'll probably disorient. Heads up, check out that way. So here's my problem, it's watch list. Watch list would be kind of amazing to get. So as an incentive to do the hack with the agent. Uh, I didn't want to bonk the trooper because I didn't like the position it would have put me in. Are we buffering? I, I clicked on watch list, didn't I? Boom! Not too bad with this thing. How uh, how's the stream? Are we still
Yeah, I see it kind of dropped. Uh, it dropped to 3,000 bits, kilobits, instead of the 6,000 it should be at. And take a hit with the VIP here. It says made in China, machine wash, cold only. It's the press on. Don't do it. Okay, I'm to let somebody else hold the controller. That kind of sucks. That sucks a lot. So much for it. I have any agent in this campaign. Uh, Okay. Deflecting our attacks. Knife ends turn, right? So I guess we're just gonna slash like this. Which may or may not activate that last drone. Lost an agent, got a whatever that was, gunslinger? Got our juggernaut injured? Oh man, this was not a good mission. Duh. Fun is in the chase. Uh, excuse me? Uh, I was I was there, right? Of time. I'm gonna go over here. Map. Yes. This is our chance to recover our fallen brother. What are we doing again? We are without limit. Oh, um, I already assigned you to the dra Dragoon when you weren't looking. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. That was sad. Uh, that was rough. I'll blame, I'll blame Twitch for buffering. Uh, how are you supposed to, to play a mission when it's buffering the whole time? Prevent further attacks by criminal elements such as the one that occurred today. The elders have total faith in our ability to overcome any and all threats to our peace. That ninja damage is kind of uh, was one one short, right? One short on the sentry, one short on the other guy. And man, incinerator. And then we have the opening ambush. Alright, we've got ourselves... What do we have here? An akimbo, a combat engineer, or a scout. I am fairly certain we have a combat engineer we already took, right? Yeah, he's been sitting in the haven. You get you get a mission soon, don't worry about it.
Dang it, Kimbo. Using. No, we're not using two guns. Shut up. And we have a gunslinger with 17 mobility. We played with a gunslinger before, right? They didn't have Fender Hammer. Right, what's what's that loadout? Pistol holo target, okay. That's basically fanfire just with a not so long cooldown. Requires two actions. That's the problem, okay. Auto loader recommended as expanded max don't seem to work on pistols. What? Does not work with crypto. Will not refund actions like liquid with liquidator. Okay. Oh well. Cyclic with a pistol, yeah. But we have proper fanfire. It's like we have fanfire at home. I mean, for a squaddy ability, if that was real fanfire, that would be all sorts of busted, I would say. It is good um, to see you again. We've so we played Gunslinger before. It was slightly different. I know we had a lot of fun with Liquidator. That's man. Hello, welcome in. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what we're going for. Team assist. Targeting, probably not. Didn't they get something where they, they run to the enemy and then use them as cover? That kind of crap? I think I guess that was too too buggy and was patched out. Overkill. Yeah, overkill can work nicely, I guess. Uh, I do like dedication. Dedication overkill for my extra roll points. Um, what target are to use to conceal an ally? See, that is that is some creative stuff. Can we get that on the holo targeting officer uh, in, in base long war as the master sergeant ability? So they actually have a holo skill. So I kind of think double time bonus move action seems really good. Uh, lightning hand seems awesome. Like either we're trying to go for flanks, we have the mobility, right? So I think kind of hunter's instincts over center mass. Predator. Like I think with 17 mobility, we can try to go for flanks. Especially also with double time. And it's probably fanfire. I'm, I'm leaning towards implacable over anatomy. That's that's like the, the big question mark for me. All right. Well, okay, thanks for stopping by. Catch you later. Um. Okay, D twenty for the for the gunslinger. We can do that. Did did we have any other redeems?
one of them redeems that. No, uh, you were the only one. Okay, cool. It's not so much about the cover from Implacable, but rather being able to, like, use double time, move somewhere, fan fire to kill an enemy, then use Implacable to get to another position to shoot at another flanked enemy, right? To get more consistent flanks. Um, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see. Do we even get missions here? Resistance contacts. That is that is fantastic, though. Uh, should have switched those guys to intel sooner. I think that's also... I kind of left them on recruit a little bit too long earlier, after the first set of missions. That's probably why we got the crappy timers. I mean, it was like half a day, right? But that, that makes so much of a difference early game, I think. Anyway. Incoming message for you, Commander. Patching it through to your quarters now. You have made considerable progress against the aliens over the past month, Commander. I hope that your ongoing efforts will only lead to further success. We have learned new things, new tactics to be used against the Elder Servants. If you would order it, we will make it so. If you've got something new for us, Commander, my Reapers are up for taking on some additional orders. Our research was a success, Commander. Experimental weapons inspired, eh? No, I think we need to go for laser weapons. I foresee a number of valuable applications stemming from this technology. I'll have a report assembled as soon as the research is complete. Commander, we currently have no new supplies coming in. We'll need to seek out new means so, to replace. It's probably not Twitch, it's me. Yeah. All right, let me see who's still... Uh, the Kimbo is uh, available. And that's... Uh, yeah, and then as soon as we get rookies that are leveling up, like a hoe here. Anyone who wants to be a hoe can, can be a hoe. Yeah, it's like, so I'm, I'm looking, whenever the mu music stops, I'm looking at the um, Twitch inspector page and it's telling me it's uh, that it's unstable at the moment, but it's still at like 5,000 kilobits, so. Now, I don't remember exa exactly, I think you're just illogical, illogical. You are. Okay, so we have the second month. Liberation missions are spawning. I still think we, we scan in South Africa, right? As we want to kind of liberate there. Although I don't think we get good timers on the regular missions over there. Um, but we do have this. So we're going to do this. And we do have a prediction somewhere. Uh, this is that, that, that mission outcome. There we go. Keep in mind, it is another four-man mission. And I feel like the other squad was the stronger squad for the four-man. Oh, yeah. Good, good shout-out, Pablo. Uh, remind me when we're back in on the ship, please. Menace one five. This is Avenger. The access point we're after is just ahead. Move to secure the area. Expect hostile resistance. All right. And we do have range tacking, right? There should be a gremlin here somewhere. Yeah, Komotex has a gremlin. Go here. Okay. 
don't like this approach. Can we go up there, maybe? We so. No problem, sir. Right, then I see something pop up there for a second. Closing on target. Maybe. Understood. Another day, another demon. Okay, there's somebody up there. Notes. Ooh, and we have a drone over there. Okay. That's good. Are you here? Approaching target now. Yeah, see me there, right? I haven't seen a thing. Nailed it. Okay, so they're gonna move down there, right? So we can just here uh, set up a perfect flamethrower ambush somewhere. And go here, or I think like down here, maybe? Send the rookie. Send the rookie. Looky, looky with the rookie around the corner. That drone. That drone uh, is gonna cause me issues. Affirmative. Okay, okay, fine. Right, leave it on there. Tempo. Well, all X and one basket uh, strategy here. Always. I think it's illogical, it's just always in the in the, in the stream watching. Just just lurking all the time. Uh, at least you're not lurking XCOM, I guess. Um okay, I will take this, right? This is not a guaranteed burn, I think. But Andy. down here. Not fair if I have all the fun. So I'm thinking you need a little bit help with dying, you're gonna manage that on your own. Kind of hoping Would you, you like trigger the drone, yes, because then we can around. combat protocol it, get that cooldown rolling. <laughs> Do you like them apples from here, maybe? Yeah, so, so much of my updates have been lacking because I wasn't streaming, so he you know, never had time to work on the mod. Let me Take just this area out. move you forward. Pop an evac. This is Firebrand. Evac request confirmed. Hold tight. Sound should still be there. 
be an I guess shoot, but I don't know if it actually is. What do we have here? Precision, central command, reinforcements. I don't think we take that. Um, let me. Okay, what's what's up with this window? It's a four tile wide window, but only this tile is broken. Now it still looks like... Why does it break in single tiles and not the whole window? Who builds these things? Sir. Huh. That's it. Okay, so... Are you guys... You're not on alert. Do we do we dare? Like, hide behind this pillar? I don't think so. So, we can probably throw a, a very nice AP grenade from Concealment here. Certainly going to put in a good Just... one for you if we make it out of here. Get down here! Not fair if I have all the fun. That was not the plan. That was not the plan at all. It's just a gun on a flank, no big deal. Oh boy. <laughs> I should have gone for control, eh? If I didn't have a cooldown in combat protocol but two charges, I could have just, you know, killed that mech there. Just like that. We're getting eaten up here. And another injury. On an important class. Die Flammen sind zu nah. And I don't think leave to seven that 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 can be six on a good day. Here's the problem. We need to throw the grenade though. we we'll, Never again get the opportunity. Alright. Let's have today be a good day. Very logical and there's constant nerving. Clearly. Oh, what about this then? Okay. This guy, let's just say it's personal. Oh, look, here's what someone's not using anymore. Now the question is, I'm still getting revealed if I move there. I'm not getting revealed here though. Positive. Das war doch klar, oder? Yeah, I'm not sure what's happening here. He might just. No, like he only has seven mobility, so maybe he can't reach a put. Well, he can just jump there, flanks me. Rip. Uh, and I think you're just not gonna move, so we don't activate those guys. Get an eye on that area over there. Get 
down here. Not fair if I have all the fun. He did not go for the flag. He didn't go even go for the kill. What? Okay, so now we need to activate these guys. Raiders roll. Stukov coming in with the raid. Hello, hello, Stukov. Welcome in. How are you doing? Let me just give you a good old shout out. Shout out. What have you been up to? XCOM? Thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in, everybody. We're doing some, some more gems here. Oh, you really ran out of range? This mission. Alright, let's kill this guy. I think that's it. Super engineer, we, I, like, I can knife this, right? That's not a problem. I do have combat protocol, so that takes care of the drone. So it's really just a matter of this grenade not doing what it's supposed to. Can I maybe... It's terrible. Okay, now, but then we just... Go here, comet put on the drone. Viewer inventory. Not heard of that. Is that like for viewer interaction that they can do some stuff? Thank God you're still breathing. Like, the only mod of that sort I've ever seen was that um, Beagle was, was trying out something with viewer stuff, but it was kind of a private mod that only he had access to, so... It's kind of... Uh, not so great. Uh, yeah, go on here. Checking this area out. So yeah, I can get the objective from here, that's fine. We'll probably even do some um what's it called? System infiltration. Confirmed coordinates. I demand answers! Alright, how do we get this guy? We have an AP grenade, and there's no it's the last enemy on the map. So I think we're just gonna pop down here, grenade him, get the objective and be on it. What's the great loot of an item? This item I can give to my soldiers during a mission if they choose. Sounds cool. Is that, is that a workshop mod, or is that some sort of other integration? Ah, uh, that's needed for that. Uh, what what is the reward anyway here? Arch alien ally cash resistance broadcasts. Yeah, I think we can throw our two charges of system infiltration at this. I mean, I picked up all the loot here. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. He sees me on.
Ah, okay. Yeah. So I guess it's probably using some stuff that, that mods can't access, so you need to then use the console for that. That's so. I, I like the... I know there's something also where then, like, the enemies get replaced with names from Twitch chat or something like that, that you don't want to have an advent trooper, but then a name of somebody, but... Um, this is our main region, our home region. Which one of these two do we not want to get? Ah, yeah, okay. Es kann losgehen. We've confirmed successful acquisition of the advent files. Eliminate any remaining hostiles in the area. Go. Done, Bradford. We're done with uh, me or hostiles in the area. Time to drive like a bat out of hell. Mehrere Feinde nähern sich unserer Position. Geht klar. Double time it. Ah, another injury. The pain so far. Operatives are secure. Firebrand is returning to base. Alright, that's my prediction. Uh, it was uh, not flawless. All Advent Gene Therapy Clinics will be closed. To yeah, for like a gunner on the flank could have easily be a dead, dead soldier. Of services were the result of dissident activity have been dismissed as radical propaganda. Like, it sucks having an injured soldier, but that could have been a dead soldier. Like, I got lucky with the hack on the frost droid, otherwise, that would have been two flank attacks, and then we would have guaranteed the dead. Our troops finding success in the field is good for the entire crew's morale. All right. Now, what do we do with attack here? I have no idea. What's the cooldown on this? Free turn cooldown. So it gives us two gremlin ranged damage abilities. I'm fairly certain Caustic, since it does give acid dot on the enemy, also basically takes down a drone, right? Yeah, I'm not sure what the gunner was doing on his second turn. Keep in mind, he had seven mobility. That's four tiles of movement. So maybe he really he couldn't jump over the thing. I don't know. Wait. Am I, am I being dumb? Uh, so, yeah. Uh, rockets, yeah. I'll think about the, the robo. Um... Feeling really dumb right now. 22 days. They can equip swords. I thought they had only could equip knives. What am I, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> Thank you for pointing that out. Oh god. M maybe we should just gate crash with all, everything I've learned today. No, it's my first time playing XCOM. Like no like you can check my Steam profile. I like, never played this game before. Um, anyway, what do we... So, I like the idea of the um, shotgun route here. I also like the idea of doing Gremlin stuff. Of course, they, we know that resupply and airdrop are amazing, but that's then more like a hacky support officer, although he had... I'm fairly certain he had crap hack stats. Um, I don't think... Like, Phantom seems like... You're shooting yourself in the foot, right? Because, oh, I'm fainting. I'm, I'm, I'm the scout for the squad. Never mind. If I use combat protocol or anything else, I get revealed. I think botnet is still broken anyway. Was botnet fixed? Ever? And take until tech sergeant for children. Yeah, we have decent aim. So I think going shooting... Uh, and we have good mobility, especially once we also get shotgun finesse, we're going to be, be jumping across the battlefield.
We've lost the the um, the agent. The crasher's out for a while. We need some some short range firepower. So shotgun, shotgun robot assist. That is that is the most accurate description of mod jam ever. Logical. <laughs> Uh, we, right, we do have a rookie promotion to deal with. Ah, where's where my who's at? Arsonist, Geneva, or Hunter? Well, I think I don't think it's gonna be Hunter. I want higher aim for Hunter. I think. So, quick burn and fire. You start with quick burn and find control. Chef's kiss. Um, gas, gas, gas. Grants free gas grenades. What? That is the squaddy ability. Is Cap Petrox still here? Affected by the damage reduction of light ordnance, which is here. Increase grenade capacity by two in each slot, but decrease grenade damage by fifty percent. You will get three gas grenades, not nine from this perk. Yeah. Why would I get nine? I guess if I had three separate and then plus two on each slot, yeah, okay. But they're not in a slot. Um bounced off rocket launcher hot shot. What do we have in the X control here? Riot control, volatile mix. A certain scientific railgun. Mission can. Trending, thank you for stopping by. See you next time. Uh, I don't know what I want to do with this. I always like the, since you have fine control, doing something overwatchy. I was a big fan of that, but I don't think it's going to be this. Like, just doing, just to throwing around a bunch of grenades with Salvo might be it. Probably gonna pick up Scrounger. I don't know. We've got very high combat intelligence, so we can probably. Well, um, very high is 56 points. It's 30. Something like that. And probably. Stability. Like just go for all the all the grenades. Um was it fixed that the extra grenades from these abilities I think there was a problem in the past where it reduced mobility. Total combat. Oh, fastball versus salvo is also a... I don't anymore. Nice. Very nice. Like ten of what's done doesn't matter. So I think I think something like this. Maybe double time. 
Okay. Good time for the extra move and then sal salvo. Like something? I mean, they can get total combat in the XCOM deck. That is that is crazy. So Devastation, right? The radius increase. I think gas grenades already have a pretty high radius. Uh, it's it's amazing, of course, for acid and fire grenades. I guess we'll have to look at that, like how it feels until then. I I was wondering, heavy hitter should also increase the dot damage. Just radius and incendiaries. Uh, I'm just. It, it's going to be a while until Beatmaster Sergeant Trident. I just really like to theory craft on those classes. Alright, alloys. We've got eight days until the Resistance Contact expires. Okay, let's um, find some missions, I guess. Uh, we can build GTS. We have exactly 150 supplies. Gorilla Tactic School construction initiated. I don't think we'd put the, the guy in here though. Uh, let's do continue excavation. Anyway, have a good night. Thanks for stopping by. I'm also not sure how much longer we're gonna go here. Maybe one more mission if we find one relatively quickly. Who's that? Free day timer. That is not what we need here. Four day timer for night. All enemy units in the area have been given sealed armor. Uh, this is this is not what we're looking for. Like even the foreman earlier was four days, thirteen hours, right? The best we could do. Yeah, yeah. I need to rewrite the convicts configs for Mochem that I just get good timers. If we're not getting good missions right now, do we do we do this? Send two rookies on a covert action? Can what's also success chance, yeah? 83% failure. What if there was a Kimbo on the mission? Rooftop combat training. Enemies in this location have been relentlessly drilled on how to exploit the advantage of high ground, gaining a large bonus to aim against XCOM soldiers when they have the height advantage. Height advantage, you fools. With advent loot. Setting course for the Indonesian zone. Well, I wasn't concerned about the 8% ambush, I was concerned about the 38% failure chance. Like, Having two soldiers out for eight days for not getting anything out of it feels feels bad. Uh, anyway, got a six-day timer supply rate. That is a good supply rate. Um, Tedster's back. Hang on, let's get crashy order here. Ah, let's actually get get both guys out of there. Just so I know what I have. No. I should have done that with the Manage Haven buttons. Yes, you're right, game. 
a marksman. Then we have our actual sniper tech. We don't really have anyone with Phantom yet, do we? No. So, I think we gotta bring the Reaper then. And since it's a train that might have turrets on top, I kinda wanna have the robot assist for some combat protocol. And we'll see if we can fit a rookie. Question. Don't have. Don't really have a uh, stock for you. You can get a scope though. And I just spent all my money on the GTS, so we can't get AP ammo. That's fine. He's shooting all the time. Uh, do you have snapshot? Train sniper? Cross snap. Non turning shots. And that costs two ammo. Yeah, you know what? Actually, that makes a lot of sense to have the expanded mag on, on you. Alright, let's see if we can fit a rookie in there. Probably not, no. No chance, no chance whatsoever. Uh, it's also not turn ending, right? So I can frost snap and then hack frost protocol or whatever it's called here. Yeah. Oh, I don't have that. Um, hack something or steady, which I don't have, right? Frost isn't doesn't that have a cooldown? No? Just to ammo? It can be used as light them up. Oh yeah, okay. Aye, that goes through ammo quickly though. Okay, are we good with our squads? Um probably not. No, let's get a get an AP grenade in here. Bring a med kit. And screw it. Bring, bring an extra rocket. And... Both gremlin classes on this mission. But I think we're not going to bring the gremlin here. Get a flashbang instead. No, bring a frag instead. And we can use system infiltration to get like some hacking reward from another mission. 
Yeah, I saw that they, um, like here, yeah, the, the White Death, which upgrades basically your other abilities, also giving lead the target only one turn cooldown. Seems pretty interesting. If we can pull this off without losing too many soldiers, as in, let's lose zero, then this campaign is off to an interesting start. We prevent strength from going up here. Um, we eliminate strength from one of our neighboring regions, which is even better. And we get a bunch of corpses and supplies and stuff and shit. Alright, um, I still kind of ho was hoping that we can get, well, let's put it this way. Lip 1 spawned exactly when the month takes over, right? It immediately spawns. That's been four days ago. Even if we find it now, it's going to be an awful time. So... Thing. We're gonna try finding something here that we can run. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually thinking about the covert action now. Since we're not getting missions here for the next, well, this response in two days, this response in four days. I also need to sneak in the this, this scan and potentially this scan now. Uh, you know, like it's... I'm almost tempted. Is anyone close to promotion? Ah, that's send illogical there. He get if if we win this, he gets a promotion. If we fail this, we can blame him. So it's it's kind of a win 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 situation there. Um. And our Geneva, 14 out of 15, 22% failure. Seems fun. Uh, you get light ordnance, right? So all your grenades suck damage wise. I don't think. Yeah, I think we just drill medkit and that's fine. And you're gonna. I don't know. Bring a grenade so I can at least do some damage. Covert is our specialty. Let's just hope your people can keep up. Avenger plotting new course. Son of a bitch. Setting course for the South African sector. I would expect, I, I, it's not a fantastic timer, so we need to foreman this. Uh, cover item from vehicle, so you can you can scan that. Uh, you can hopefully kill something. Oh my god, like, what is this? This is gonna be a little bit of a rough squad. Okay. So, anyway, I mean, Monkey Ups has decent aim, right? We have the cannon, that's gonna be fine. So that's all good. You might actually hit some stuff, I guess. If I had any money, I could get you an alloy sword. Uh, we're gonna go hunting shotgun again. An A launcher, double AP, seems not terrible.
I think actually I'm gonna give you the flash and give you a double frack. We got seven hours. Like, if we add a, another person, now we're 17 hours over. Uh, no, 19 hours over. So even with the suppressor, we're not, we're not gonna get anything. I, depending on what kind of enemies we find, I think grenade launched AP grenades will be quite good. We do have shadow concealment. I really like like the the way we attack the sentry, right? Just go into shadow, go to him, smash him. Would have been nice to get the kill, but ah, uh, baby steps. Sky Ranger deployed. Menace ready to deploy. Avenger plotting um, new course. I think alien materials or whatever it's called gives the alloy sword. Like I should also for the supply rate. I should have um, after starting the GTS gone to black market, sold some stuff, so just so I can buy some some small items. Like I can buy AP rounds, additional AP grenades, and the better better swords. It's, I blame it on just being a little bit rusty here. Um, another jailbreak. Six, it's it's going to be a five man. I'm going to finish this so I don't have to fly back and forth here. And then we're going to set us up. Setting course for sector 16, Indonesia. No, uh, we do have it. We're just out of money. Right? We can build can build alloy swords and emulators, AP rounds, AP grenades. I just have literally zero money at the moment. Okay, three rookies and a pistol and a and a melee class. Maybe I should take the time and go to the go to the black markets or take a look at the alternative no, no, the alternative is, is, is Avenger plotting new crap. course yeah let's get some so at least Modern I can get a P rounds for the gunslinger and the better sword and maybe some more in AP grenades for the rookies that paying extra for data pads I have free data hello coming in we'll need to seek out new means of not sure not sure what you're talking about we've got 150 supplies setting course for Indonesia I could have also looked in the black market and bought an additional soldier so we don't have just have these two here uh, whatever we'll be fine Okay, that should work from the timer, especially if we give one or two SMGs out here. Alright, so I want a... I definitely want AP rounds. Probably want another AP grenade, and I want an alloy sword. Then let's look here. You're both 64. I think we're also gonna bring you with that. Give you the AP. You a double frag. 
And you go... Flashbang Madcat. Slightly over. Slightly under. Okay, um, so that's kind of all missions discovered. This one is gonna well, respawn now. But I think we pick up the alloys and then scan it in South Africa again. Oh, but we're doing lip one here anyway. Avenger plotting new course. It's not fantastic, but our whole roster is active actually. Yeah, there's the the other mission. The timers really suck right now. But we also don't have anyone we can put as Haven Advisor. Two people injured, we lost one soldier. A bunch of rookies that um, haven't seen action yet. Now that is a mission. Let me get back to you. Strategic resource located. I don't think I'm gonna run this with five rookies, right? Six rookies. So two and a half days until the supply rate finishes. And then we still have nine days on this. Yeah, that that's plenty of time. Setting course for South Africa. Yeah, we kind of the second uh, set of missions was kind of ass. Like we didn't find any in South Africa, and we found two that we had to form in in, in our main region. So that was kind of really bad. Okay, let's see if we can get a first cycle lib one in now. Um, form and mission again. Did I did I finish the prediction? Yes, I did. Okay, so start a new prediction. Can we flawless this? We've got our Dragoon, our Ninja, Combat Engineer, Rookie. We are still on Force Level 2. And this is going to be our final mission of the night. Yeah, it's a recover item from vehicle. We could do the Rona tactic of uh, sneak all the way to the vehicle, get inside, call evac, close the door, advent can't can't hurt you, and then just wait out the the evac and run and go out. But menace one five. We've got a bead on the advent data yeah. vault near your position. Be advised, self detonating charges are in place at the target. Move to disarm and extract the package before its contents are destroyed. This is, this is a nice approach. We can stay here on the high ground. Pretty much until we get to the objective. This drone is gonna be annoying. Okay. Um... Drone. That drone comes closer, that ruins everything. So, well, that ruins a lot of things. Um, let's get a combat engineer. Heading to that location. Down there. Can't really take any good cover spots. Position confirmed. Yeah, you're gonna retreat in a second here. Yeah?
What about this side? Okay, that's how we want to play this. That's my damage with throwing knives. Isn't basic throwing knife 2 to 3 damage? Am I, is, is Blade Master applying to knives? Knife juggler, right? I have knife juggler by default. I was kind of ready to just stand out in the open because they can't really get an angle on me, but I think we're taking the knife throw here. And by the way, still disappointed that nobody so far has made a knife to meet you talent with, with combat knives. Like, what are our models even doing? So we can probably not hurt here. I'm going. And of course not hit both of them. What if we go here? Then probably just disorient that guy with the disorientation protocol and give an extra shield because we're probably pulling more stuff from over there. If we're lucky, we roll the nine, it's kill. If we're not lucky, we finish him off with a grenade. Trooper and a sec dot. So, talk about getting lucky. Can you get lucky here and get the 5 damage? Six works too. Okay, that means you can move up. Right on. Oh, on Hello, Who's that? Who's that? Who's that? Regent! How are you doing? Thank you very much for the resub. Appreciate it. Hope you're having a wonderful day. We've been we've been having a blast here. XCOM has been treating us so kindly. It's like, oh, you haven't streamed in such a long while time. Here, get fantastic mission timers, good hacking rolls, like it's treating me so nicely. Why would you do that? There's a corpse there you can work with. You got a flank Go that guy, huh? What we got? Large supply cache. 
for a map alert. Yeah, we'll take that any day of the week. I'm fairly certain he's just gonna rest here next turn. Off. So we're just gonna get you in there, and you are still disoriented from that sector, it's, so you're just gonna sneak in closer. Or you run away and tell me where the others are. Nice. Um, if you could run away, then I could pick up that loot from a nice position. Eh, whatever. We are without limit. Ready to watch a real assassin at work? Alright, let's get the grenades up top, and we might be able to, you know, surprise them with a nice AP grenade. Move, move, move. That looks like a group that is all into that AP business. Boasting. I think, ah, oh, man, the loot. I'm not sure how we're gonna get it. Um, we've got five turns, so I don't need to really rush the hack. So we can probably next turn jump out the window, get the loot, maybe. Uh, maybe we hide behind this, yeah, hide behind the shelf. Okay, so those guys ran over here. I don't want to get line of sight on them. Your queen listens. Which I don't get. Okay, cool. See if I care. on one of the troopers. How are we going to play this now? I need to, I, I want to activate these guys. Doesn't matter how. Sentry and one HP of a sound fray. Wonderful. Sentry, I can knife. Knife to stay concealed in that case. Alright, what about that officer? I cannot see him at all. Get a flank on the sectoid, but that's not, not really worth much, yeah. Huh. 
It is not a flank here. Can't get line of sight on the officer. And he can jump down in flame if I stand there. So it's probably just pick up the loot and disappear. Hey, Dr. Zap Reloaded. How are you doing? I guess I could go here, shoot... I, I can't kill the sec... well... I mean, he's just gonna summon a zombie. I don't think I care too much. But let's do some damage here. I want the loot. Going over there. I want the loot. I want then I think we're just gonna go here. Not be flanked by anybody. It's only half cover, but I think the the officer might just mark and shoot. No, he's coming up here. Oh, that didn't feel good. You bastard. Never freaking injury. You're not even making a zombie. What are you waiting for? Kill him. Yes, that is a petrol class. Nuclear. Um never played with it before, just saw it today in the workshop and so on. Yeah, we're picking that up. Well, I picked all the classes up, so that's Yes, this is a new campaign we started today for Twitch. I always, like, I, I try to not mix the two up so that people don't miss out, that are only able to follow one of the two. But um, I do have... Uh, let's see if my command works. Yeah, uh, I have a separate channel where I upload the, the bots from, from Twitch. Get over there previous streams although this is the first stream in like half a year so um okay so i have a small inter cashier and we had what the tower hack was a large alloy cache still need to get to the evac that's intel is so important in the early game System infiltrate here. Oh, last supply, yeah, that would also be nice. Don't lie. This is Firebrand. It's time to go. Okay, so we can. Uh, what's the chance now? Two charges on system Charger. infiltration. Who's balancing this shit? Like... I got a treasure pack. Status confirmed. The charges are inactive and the package is secure. Eliminate any remaining hostiles. Look, um, go, go, go. Uh, I'm just saying, we should go here. The problem is the free laptop because that gives the, per the, the, the perception that laptop is just a free thing that you use. Um, to get then free additional hacking rewards. Good timing. But normally for all other laptops, you gotta you gotta spend a data pad, right? So there's an opportunity cost. Checking this area out. So you would need to get additional hacking rewards that you don't get normally that make it worth wasting a data pad on that. Do 
Do you get that from two system infiltration charges and from what does it give? Five additional hacking score? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, but I think that's the problem um, when balancing the thing. Are you balancing for that first free one or, uh, you know, are you balancing for the additional ones? At the moment, with two charges, I don't see me ever building additional laptops. It's like, sure, I used the, used, the free one because I got it for free. Yeah? This should be one hell of a ride. Avenger, this is Firebrand. Package is secure. All XCOM yes. operatives are secure. Firebrand Each use of system infiltration is minus 10. Minus 10 hack defense. Well, did we have any flawless mission today? Gatecrasher, I guess. And that smashing grab, the, the crate, crate extraction. But other than that, one more for the not flawless. It was a planned exercise. Citizens should not be alarmed. All weapon fire and wounds were simulated to better train advent forces. So what my uh, whenever we're talking when I'm talking with the logical about laptops, I'm always saying system infiltration should break concealment. Like it's it's it was like kind of dumb that previously on a supply rate you could sit there with unlimited charges for twenty turns, reduce the sector port hack defense to zero, and then go full override. Of course, that's a dumb item. Like. You don't have to talk about that, but that's an easy fix with, yeah, break concealment on system infiltration. That also tones down hijackers a lot, because the, uh, you know, um, insane combo of, of scouting, low detection range, hacking, all the squad abilities, officer, and, you know, just, just doing it all from stealth, suddenly becomes more risky if you have a laptop and you're trying to system infiltrate. Wait, why are you writing sector butt? That wasn't that wasn't that wasn't butt's pot. I mean he butted your stuff. Um it's gotta be combatives, right? I I still think we're going full full damage build here, full melee. Although I'm kind of thinking the whole time, how much would I rather have a Shinobi instead? Like, it's the same perks that a Shinobi. I guess Slice and Dice is different. Purple Blade, yeah, no, no, it's fine. Twenty-five days for co for copyright only. So what did we ever look at this? Like the problem is the low mobility, right? So we probably want to have... Shotgun finesse for the mobility. Sooner or later, anyway. I, I'm thinking combat drugs officer. Need more base mobility if you want to make an assault kind of kind of character. So yeah, let's go combat drugs. So combat drugs into dense smoke, into shotgun finesse. Probably fast combat stimulants for sure. Maybe rupture. I don't know. Hook it. I think fastball. 
Although smoke grenade or so, smoke and mirrors is also already giving us that with with combat drugs, so maybe maybe it is the saving shot. Just as an additional utility. Oh breach. Cover destruction. Then yeah, high combat end for Lightning reflexes, I don't know. <laughs> maybe maybe pistol skills? Red skin rounds, debuff enemy mechanical units. Ooh yeah. Yeah, so I, I don't that we will we'll revisit this, right? When he becomes no longer wounded in 25 days. Right, the Advent Shotgun. Um, that is a good point. I forgot that that exists. Okay, what are we looking at here? Infantry. I, I guess infantry, because we already have the other two classes. Alright, so I need to fix the technical um, so that we have the new technical tree and I need to probably change the setting so that we get five choices now. Because we're getting uh, already doubles of classes that we already have, although we're still missing a lot of classes. We don't have a saboteur yet. Um, we don't have an agent. Um, like all the base, or most of the base classes, Gunner is not there, Ranger is not there, Shinobi Assault. Still a lot of stuff, like it's kind of unlucky that we get two classes here that I can't select. Anyway. Folks, it's been a pleasure having you all here. Um, six months roughly of not streaming and everybody is back for the new stream is making me make me feel super happy. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, but it's been the usual kind of four-ish hours that I usually stream and I don't want to go nuts on the first time back. So we're gonna call it here. I'll see. I probably can get to my old schedule so that would be then Sunday, uh, no, Saturday for the next stream. But uh, keep an eye on the Discord. Uh, I'll, I'll announce it there a few hours ahead. The agent died, yes. There was a um, sentry that didn't quite like us. Well, no, like the, the whole enemy team shot shot our agent, shot him up real good. All right, let's see if someone's online and that we wait uh, while we wait. Um, who's playing? Oh. Anyone else play XCOM that I would not have in my list directly that I'm familiar with? Um, hmm. I, so I, I'll have to see how that works with the current connection, how often. I, I, I try to hopefully get back, back into the three streams a week schedule, and once I get my proper fiber connection here, then maybe even a little bit more. Um, I have to see, kind of balance it with, with recording also. And it also depends on what happens on my on my job front. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll see uh, about that. You know what, I'm going to send you over to... Someone we haven't raided before. Um, when he's a nice, cool guy, Imperial Yeti, uh, Yeti, playing some projects on board. And um, if since I like that game and I like watching what he does in that game, so uh, maybe give it a try. And if not, then not. All right, I'll probably be back on Saturday. Thanks for being here, everybody. It's been a pleasure. See you next time. Bye bye.
My dad has his own aeronautical engineering company now. Holy shoot, Ava! Hello! Welcome! Thank you for the raid! What on earth? I'm doing such spicy stuff and I might get rewarded. Hello! Perfect timing. How was your stream? What were you doing, eh? <laughs> you could straight up fl you could fly straight up if you ask him. You could. There I am. Thank you so much for the raid. How is your stream? What's going on, eh? Ahoy, Dereva and the mighty crew of 40. Welcome to the high seas of Project Zomboid VHS treasure hunting on the SS Imperial Jedi. God damn it, we're not a boat. Reinforcements were sure to find that ultra rare Star Wars VHS in the apocalypse. Oh, yes, please. Prepare your popcorn, because this raid is about to go interstellar. Oh my Thanks god. For sailing into our waters, it's going to be a legendary voyage. It will be. Amazing. <laughs> 